Good morning, 60 Seconds to Serenity with me, Greg Hammond, your host, and it is Wednesday, November 8th. I hope that you had a good night's rest, or if you're watching this afterwards, that uh, you've now had a good night's rest. I'm here to, it says live from Laguna Beach, which, well, that's not true, but I like the, the palm tree. Uh, it's just cool that Facebook is populating this, so I'm gonna go with that flow, and that's part of the part of the 60 seconds to serenity mindset is that you go with the flow. Um, part of going with the flow is keeping the the calmness of mind that I've been talking about out of the serenity chapter by James Allen. It comes from uh, as a man thinketh, and this, I'll read this again because I love it so much and it's such a powerful thing to think about. Calmness of mind is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. It is a result of long and patient effort and self-control. Its presence is an indication of a ripened experience and of a more than ordinary knowledge of the laws and operations of thought. And uh, that means that... Uh, and, means that you, you're, you're conscious of uh, how powerful your thoughts are. And the 60 seconds to serenity, I'm talking about how important it is for you to realize that in just one minute's time, in just 60 seconds, that's a pretty long time um, in a lot of respects because you can do so much. It means you can totally shift the way you're thinking and you can respond instead of reacting to things that are occurring and keep your mind calm. That is a superpower. So your breathing is like this, the water coming across the sand in a you know Caribbean island beach where it just comes in slow and then goes back out. And it's just this beautiful ebb and flow. And of course you're breathing all the time. So uh, you don't have to practice that part. But you want to pr practice the way that you control that breathing. And as you do that, you control... You can you by slowing it down like that. You take that first control on a physical level. You're building the trigger, and that's what we're doing. We're building this way that your body will automatically respond, so that you're not reacting to situations, so that you can think clearly and get through situations that are challenging. But also keep yourself on a higher uh, vibration. Another is to keep smiling, and I was talking about the keep smiling movement, and I. I think that that's going to show up the other way, but that's okay. Um, it's part of being able to say live from Laguna Beach, which you know, I think in Laguna Beach it will be three twenty in the morning. Um, this is a quick one today. Uh, talking about the magnets that you can get. Um, talking about your gratitude list, making sure that you're writing down your gratitude list, and I suggest a, a gratitude list journal, which is separate. Um, separate from the the list that we were starting, the journal that we were starting um, with a non-dominant hand. A couple days ago, we started talking about non-dominant hand, and I was saying that you write down your name just with your non-dominant hand. Part of that exercise, if you want to catch up on that, you can go back to the video from a couple days ago and then see the next one. We've done three. Today will be the third day. I wrote my name uh, right-handed, and then I did it non-dominant hand, which is left-handed. Um, and I've done the exercise for um, many, many uh, sessions. I've done it for stretches of 90 days where I've filled an entire page of a paragraph. I've also done it where I've just taken some notes. I started that back before the turn of the century in the late 1900s, like 98, 1998, uh, when I was doing um, spiritual philosophy class along with the Wilderness Survival. They were actually, the classes were together. In the mountains of Santa Cruz, and I started writing with my left hand, and it was very challenging. And I thought I should pursue this. And more recently, with my uh, one of my mentors, Bob Proctor, he had us doing this. And so I, a little over a year ago, I started doing it. It's amazing, very powerful. Um, so the uh, the suggestion that I have for you is that you um, write down with non-dominant hand. You, in a journal that you have set aside only for your non-dominant hand and a small uh, pad of paper. Uh, something with a spiral ring is nice. 
um, you'll discover some things there. This is a little easier. This requires you to do a little bit more thinking if you use the spiral, and you'll figure out why. Um, but you were, uh, I said write down, since that's backward, you can't read it, the, your name, first, last name, um, the day that it is, such as Wednesday, the date, November 8, uh, put down 2017 and the time, so um, you can keep track of that. One, you're doing some tracking. I'm teaching the element of tracking so you can see what happens when you write. Now, I'm not telling you they have to do this first thing in the morning, but I'm suggesting that you do. Um, and I'll, I'm going to write mine out here as a, as a start, just to show you what that looks like. Um, so if the, I have the magnets, and I was showing you the, the, the magnet for the Global Jam, and I'm willing to send those to you. If you give me your address and pay the postage, I'll send you a magnet. And I also have uh, stickers if you are interested in that. So um, let me know in the comments there. If, uh, if you have an affirmation that you say that you feel um, is very powerful and you'd like to share that with everybody, I'd love to hear it. Mine is uh, everywhere I go and everything I do, I make the world a better place for me and for you. That's one of, one of the um, affirmations that I have going through my head. And I, if, when I get into uh, a minute, I realize, oh, I have a minute. I will shift my breathing. And then as soon as I do one, I can feel that I'm on that. I've shifted to that higher level of consciousness, of physically using my brain to physically shift myself into a good place. So I've written down my name, wrote down the day. The date is uh, November and 8. I'm going to put 2017 because I just like to write out as much as I can. And then um, I don't know the time, but I'm going to say 625. I have to hop over and do my reading. Here, but um, this will be backwards because I have I wanted to have live from Laguna Beach. It's 60 Seconds to Serenity with Greg Hammond, actually from Washington D.C. But anyway, you can see I've written those out. So I suggest you you do that five times per day if you can. I wanted to show you uh, I'm working on setting up the studio. So there's my frangipani, which uh, it's taken me three years. I got some orchids in here. I got a gardenia. Uh, an Everbloom Gardenia, which uh, is about to kick out. They're all about to kick out some amazing um, blooms. And then there is the guitar studio and uh, a global jam backdrop for the TV show, which will change out over time. Um, and here's my seat to sit here. And uh, I'm obviously holding the camera, but it will hop over like this and you can see if you get in close the other day I noticed I was looking at my calendar my days are numbered all of them yep alright so that's basically where I'm leaving you today uh, is remembering your breath remember to do some writing uh, affirmations uh, your power song a song that you love to listen to the music you like to if you haven't listened to five if you've Maybe you have, maybe you haven't listened to 528 Radio or Radio 528, the number 528.com, and, and, and check, check that out. There's a, some amazing information about 528 frequency. Uh, a lot of people don't know about that, but um, all the music there is in 528. I like that uh, classic rock station. But there, I listen to a ton of those stations. There's uh, something for everybody there. Anyway, I have to hop off. Uh, I've got to do my reading. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Remember, keep smiling. If you want to keep smiling card or if you want a Global Jam magnet, leave a comment here. Uh, let me know that that you would, uh, you would like one of those. And as long as you're able to get me on the postage, that would be very helpful. I would like to send one of those to you. So... Stay hydrated. Have a, a fantastic day. Do your writing. Do some reading. Control your breathing. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Oops. 
I will see you tomorrow morning. And I will not be live from Laguna Beach. But I will eventually do some outside.